Hello, and in this short video, we're just going to go over text separation in HTML. So last time we finished up with a page that looks a little bit like this. In fact, it looks exactly like this. And pretty much, we're just going to learn how we can separate out this text. Um, and it also obviously works for separating out other content. I don't know why I decided to call it separating text. Separating content or separating things may have been a better name. Uh, but essentially, let's just quickly go to the style, and I'm just going to change my text align center to text align left, simply because it's going to make it slightly easier for me to record, because I don't um, like showing you the whole screen when I uh, do the YouTube videos, I just zoom into a certain area, so it's easier to see. So if I text align left, that should make it a little bit easier for me. Okay, so that just looks like that. And some of the text is probably still a bit cut off for you, but don't worry about it. So let's go back here, and the first method of separating text we're going to learn is simply a line break. So for example in this program here we type something and then we press enter and then we type something else. Now this thing that happened between here and here is a line break. The line well, literally broke. It went if we didn't have a line break it would look like oops daisy. It would look like that but because we have a line break pretty much just pressing enter in a word processing document or in pretty much any program you're going to use that is a line break. So to do a line break in HTML, what you can do is you can use the br tag. So we just go br. And remember, because it isn't one of those tags that actually has an ending tag, it's an empty tag, we use the slash like that. So we have br. And then sometimes people consider it good formatting to whenever you have a br to then use a new line in the code so you know what's a new line and what isn't. Or sometimes like that. And it doesn't particularly matter. I quite like it looking like that but it really doesn't matter. So let's just insert some uh, some new lines after where there are full stops because let's just say that's all how we want it to be formatted. And I guess we'll have two there because they're quite short. Whoops. Another one there. And let's just have another one there and I guess we'll have one at the end here. So we just save that. Let's open that back up. And ta-da, we can see we now have line breaks wherever we did the BR tag. So BR tag, line breaks, very, very simple, very, very useful. And this is probably what I use mainly in my content that I write in HTML. And for my designs and other things. Uh, now the other way of doing it, or we can combine the two methods, it doesn't really matter. Um, so the second way is going to be using paragraph tags. So if we surround something in paragraph tags, let's just say we wanted this section here to be a paragraph. So we just have P and slash P to make this paragraph element. And remember, we should indent for good formatting. And then let's make the rest into a different paragraph. And that's also indent. So this is just using the P tag and then closing the P tag to create the paragraph element. So we ended at null said. So it should separate it. Null said, null said, I don't know how to say that. And here we go. So because of the different paragraphs, we can see there's a double uh, line break here, which is pretty much what paragraphs are going to do by default. But then obviously in the CSS, if we then wanted to add some special properties to our paragraph tags using the P selector, we could do that, which is really useful as well. So P tags, uh, just to make things semantically correct. Now, if you know what semantic means, it means with meaning. So in HTML, I don't really want to describe, describe it too much because we don't really have to get into it too much, but Essentially, it's better practice if you have paragraphs to separate them using paragraph tags because obviously that's what the paragraph tags are meant for. So, now the last method of text separation or content separation that we're going to feature in this video is going to be HR. Now, this stands for horizontal rule and it's an empty tag, so we use a slash at the end, so we just go HR slash. And that quite simply makes a horizontal rule on the page. Very, very simple. Again, it doesn't really seem to be used much on the modern web, but it's a useful technique. Uh, I think I use it in the footer of my website, actually, because I apply some cool um, CSS styling to it to make it look a bit better than the crappy little line, which it defaults to. But, I mean, that's pretty much all you need to know about text separation. It's very, very simple. We have BR for a line break. We have the paragraph tags to create paragraphs. And we have the HR tag to create horizontal rules. So, that's the end of this pretty short and sweet video. And have a nice day.